Hey guys, what's up? It's not Saturday at all. It's only like Thursday, uh, but we got a special day off, so we came out here, got to do some stuff. I uh, did a little bit of shooting, a little bit of testing, and that's basically all we did. So we'll see you next week. Not really. Um, well, we tried out the Sealy, C-Y-E-L-E-E. -E. I'm gonna slip. These boots are nice and warm, but man, they're not made for walking <laughs> on ice. Um, anyway, sorry, that was a bad joke, but they're not. Um, the Sealy Cat Pro. We've had the Sealy Cat out before. This guy's a little bit different. It's the Pro model. It's a little beefed up. They, they deleted the fiber optic rears, which I mm, really wish they didn't do that but they did beef it up a little bit. Um, they have a side uh, battery tray. Instead of having to take the optic off, you can leave it on now, never have to take it off, um, and change out your batteries from the side. So that is nice. Slightly smaller battery, but we'll see how the run times work. Uh, but on the 1911, dude, I still need to make a video about this guy, the pieces and parts that I put into it, because I bought one about the same time a buddy of mine bought one. And he's not, a, I mean, he's a gun guy. He likes guns, he likes to buy guns. He doesn't shoot them a whole lot and he doesn't really work on them. He has me work on them. Uh, he has me build them and then, or help him build them. How do I say this right? And basically he will, he will do the first step of putting it all together or having me put it all together. And then I give him back his gun and he sits on it for a while and it just doesn't go shoot. Basically he doesn't vet his equipment after it's been gunsmithed on or worked on and then he gets upset whenever everything doesn't work right. Whereas I pretty much at the same time bought the same gun he did, did a bunch of different stuff to it, and yeah, it didn't work. I had to change springs and the little cam, not cam, is it cam lock, cam pin? What, it's not a pin. The little peanut thingy, I think it's cam lock. Uh, but the little locking mechanism on the, on, the, on the barrel, I'm not a 1911 guy, you should be able to tell that. Uh, but I had to change out a bunch of stuff. I cut the barrel, I threaded things, I did a whole bunch of stuff, and this guy runs. I, I did not have a single jam hiccup throughout uh, today we only shot like six seven magazines maybe um, but we sighted in this optic and we shot it suppressed unsuppressed it ran beautifully beautifully excuse me i'm getting emotional uh, but anyway we're not talking about the gun itself i do need to make a video on the gun but the optic uh, we changed out the sealy cat and put the pro on here so that's cool he's working he's doing what he needs to do ah, and a uh, very stiff gun but he he works he works um Another thing we did, I'm not going to show it a whole bunch because this is for Patreon right now and it'll come out later for you guys, but I am working on a jailbroke Noveski Space Invader, okay? Um, close in semblance to how it works. Uh, we'll have some of the correct parts. We're not making a clone. We're doing a jailbroke version of it, so something that people could build, put together, be happy with, and not drop $3,000 on. That's the idea. So we worked on that today, ran into an issue that I thought was going to just just ground the whole project. Like, great, I started this thing, I got neck deep into it, and now it's garbage. No, we actually just needed to tinker with it, which is why you gotta vet your stuff and not get upset when it doesn't work. You gotta vet it, work it, and then work it out. So that's what we did with that guy. Uh, the regular AR9, we shot it, brought it out kind of for some comparison stuff on, on the jailbroke invader, whatever we wanna call it, I'm not, really don't want to try to steal other companies thunders and stuff but it is it's it's we're emulating them right because they did an awesome thing so i want to image that a little bit right it's my version of it they can have their version of it my version's not as good it's their version of it anyway uh, but we tried out three different suppressors the r9 yhm r9 cgs mod 9 sk and the silencer Co omega 9k three k cans short cans uh, specific for nine millimeter. I think all of them, but maybe the CGS Mod 9 SK, I think the other two are specific for like pistol caliber carbines. Specific for pistol caliber carbines. Then they work on pistols. I think the Mod 9 SK is made for pistols because it is louder. There's no getting around that. It's smaller, but it's louder. Um, other than that, um, some, some smoke in the background. We set some stuff on fire. That was fun. Um, and we just piddled around. We did some We did some interesting stuff. I'll throw some stuff up on Instagram, some little reels and things. Um, I thought it was fun. In general, we just came out and had a good day. It's a good day. It started out a little bit cold. I think right now it says 24 degrees. It was in the teens this morning with a little bit of wind. And man, once you get in the teens, it's cold. Once you get in the teens with wind, oh, it just... It can be a really sucky day. And out here, thankfully, we're kind of able to get back to where we usually go. Um, stuff's starting to thaw out and freeze hard and thaw out and freeze hard. So that allows us to get back a little bit different places because we're driving on ice instead of packed, uh, you know, two feet deep of fluffy snow with six inches of crust on top. You break through that and you get stuck. This is what would happen last time I came to this, this place. But 
anyway, regardless, stuff's moving, stuff's dry, not drying, stuff's uh, warming up a little bit, technically. Um, so before long, this place will look like a big mud pit and then the, everything will come to, back to life. Anyway, that has nothing to do with range report. That's it. That's pretty much all we worked on. It was a very short, simple day. Um, I just took my time, did some stuff, kind of felt off my feng shui a little bit. Um, I think it's just because it's a Thursday, it's not a Saturday. I didn't really have time to prep for this one. Um, so some of the content may not be as up to par as I like it, but that's, that's it. That, that's what we do here is we try to deliver quality stuff as best we can, but real stuff, right? I'm not going to try to pad something and make this look like something that it's not. I try not to do that. I try to be as real with you guys as possible. Anyway, that's it. If you got any questions about anything you saw or anything you want to see coming up here on the channel, um, please do let me know. I got a lot of plans for things to come, but that's day to day. Who knows? This whole Noveski project thing, whatever, um, that was something I've been wanting to do for years. But it wasn't until like last week that I actually saw some stuff on sale and things, you know, the stars aligned and boom, we just made it happen. Wasn't planned. So I could have plans for things coming up, but that doesn't mean that those things are going to happen. I'm just going to leave that there. That's it. You guys be good to be safe. Appreciate you guys watching, subscribing and everything. And hopefully we'll catch you guys next Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, whenever it is. Next time. See ya.